Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. We did it. We have plenty of time to do this 2017 uh, Bowman Jumbo Baseball. Nice. Eight boxes in this jumbo. This is pick your team number four, the last to pick your team. And here are the people that picked their team on a Friday night, Friday the 28th. Pick your team four. There it is. Aaron with the last spot mojo. That's Chunk B. He has, he's got the Tigers. Good luck to Aaron and good luck to everybody else. There you go. All right. Kyle Vance saying he has the Cardinals and Mets. He's my first day ever doing this. I figured go big or go home. Well, listen, trust me. When everyone starts doing this, Kyle, everyone overspends a lot. <laughs> and then after time, Kyle Vance, you'll, you'll understand. You'll kind of understand. It's like, oh, okay. Here's my budget. Here's the cards that I like. Here's the cards I don't like. You know, so you, we, once you figure out what you like and what products you like and what type of hits you enjoy getting and what products have value for you and match up with what you're trying to chase, you know, then you'll start to figure out how to balance out your budget for future breaks. But at the beginning, trust me, everybody overspends and they're like, oh crap, why did I spend this much money during on, on, on these case breaks? But over time, if you, if you, if you dig it, over time, you'll kind of figure out a budget and you'll figure out a good uh, pattern and whatnot. And, and then it becomes really fun. I mean, it's always fun, but sustainable fun. <laughs> Sustained fun. It's good. Oh, good. Brett's here too. Excellent. Oh, you have Brett. Oh, you got the Indians in this one, Brett. I thought you usually get more than Oh, you got, yeah, you got my Dodgers, right? All right I think Greg's in this one too, right? And Kev California lurking. Ooh. He's lurking, investigating. Yeah, definitely a learning curl, Kyle Vance. Uh, Kevin says, lurking and investigating the signed 1963 Dodgers team ball. You should post that into the Facebook group. I'd, I'd like to take a look at that too. I don't know my autographs very well from that, from that era, but as a Dodger fan, I would still like to see that. <clears throat> All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna flatten out this soft rubber mat right here. All right, here we go. Don't let Rex fool you, folks. He's like, I'm trying to get my first Jaspi hit in, in three years of breaking. He's gotten plenty of big hits from us. Uh, correct, Rex. 24 autos total, three per uh, jumbo. So now I do have to say that we have seen um, kind of some, a weird phenomena where, where there will be four autographs in one box and then, and then in some other box in the same case, there will be two autographs. It, it still ends up being 24, but just know that, that that is usually, we've seen that at least three out of the four of jumbo, these jumbo cases we've done. Or two out of the three. This is our fourth. So I think the first one, TJ, didn't have that four or two one, or maybe it did. I don't know. I don't remember. All these Bowman, all these, uh, all these breaks start blurring, blurring in together at this point. All right. All right, there's Ben Benintendi to lead us off. We've pulled this auto before in one of these breaks. So, you know what I'm going to do? Since Axel's not here to help me, I'm going to separate the paper out from the chrome. These buybacks will get sleeved up. So you'll notice that there's different color, uh, different color foil colors right there, ladies and gentlemen. Those will, those, uh, will represent different, um, those will represent different levels of short printedness. <laughs> So keep that in mind. Paper base does not ship, or any paper doesn't ship. And we'll randomize these uh, these World Baseball Classic cards. All right, so actually this break might take a little bit longer than I thought because I have to do a little housekeeping as I go. Our shipping team, I, okay, here's a weird thing with these paper parallels. You know, our, it's really difficult, honestly, it's really difficult to tell between, we pulled a one of one Jake Lamb out of a previous break, and we held it up to a regular paper Jake Lamb, 
we couldn't tell the difference. At least I couldn't. And usually it's pretty obvious. So what our shipping team will do is we'll go through all of these cards once again, just to scan through the back and make sure that we didn't miss any numbered cards. So those will still be uh, sleeved up, top loaded, mailed out to you. So if you see any out of 499 silver paper right there, those are your those are the ones we found. Uh, Joe Jimenez, not numbered, goes to the Tigers. That will be for Aaron Bradford, last spot mojo, striking early. So that, that made sense, right, everybody? I hope so. All right, chrome, paper. But just in the interest of time right now, we want to kind of fly through these a little bit more quickly. They've got these cool inserts too. I wish we could spend more time on it, but you'll get them in, you'll get those in the mail. Actually, I want to set aside these World Baseball Classic guys too, because I want to randomize them at the end. So you got to organize three different things as we go. Um, those World Baseball Classic players are just um, are just Japanese and Korean players, and we have I, and we looked. I don't I don't think any of those guys are on Major League Ball Clubs at the moment. So where's my paper pile going to be? My paper pile's going to be over here. No, I had one more World Baseball Classic guy. There we go. So that's why they're not going to go to their major league clubs. They'll, they'll be so they'll be randomized as a lot, unless they're numbered. And if we find one of those, we'll randomize them separately. Um, what other what other notes? Uh, TJ. Oh yeah, uh, for for color parallels, if they have seventy on the front, we'll find one soon. Um, they are not numbered. So those are the 70th, 70th anniversary. Now they're they're short printed to a certain to multiple different levels, um, but they they are not numbered. Oh, so there you go. So John Lester, four twenty four out of four ninety nine. So maybe the ones in between the chrome are numbered. So that would be sleeved up. There's Dustin May, out of two fifty one fifty four out of two fifty. Justin Thompson, Tigers will get that buyback. So I'll get the rhythm of this, and you guys will too, and this break will go relatively quickly. If I knock over the paper base. More World Baseball Classic. Paper. Yeah, these seventy ones. There won't be numbers on the back unless they're specifically colored in a certain way. But and we'll just be flying through these papers, just again in the interest of time. Um, but Jacob Hayward, that's nice. Purple parallel, one three five out of two fifty for the uh, San Francisco baseball giants. My rivals. Oppo Joe Mojo going to Peter Elias and the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Nice one there, Pete. Uh, this paper won't ship. Uh, here's an example right here. So that Brandon Rogers, even though it's red and has 70 on front, not numbered. Now it's it's shorter printed. If you look at the, the pack, it'll say like one out of every 400 and whatever packs. So it is short printed to a certain degree, but and we'll ship it out, but just letting you know it's not serial numbered. So that's why if I accidentally, if I slide by one or just put it aside without really saying anything, that's that's the reason why. We should be expecting one more autograph out of here, boys and girls. It's just the first box of the jumbo to close out the night. If you want, again, if you want to keep breaking, and you're like Joe, I'd like to keep breaking. I want to keep supporting Jaspie's Hobbyland, but you're you're done. This break is going to take you an hour. It's going to take you to to there. You know, then 
you can go to the hockey channel, which is right here. All right, there you go. Yeah, the reds are not numbered. There's Bellinger to 499. You know what I mean? They're they're short printed. You know? But there's there's no stamped serial number is what we're saying. The Bellinger out of 499 goes to Brett and the Dodgers, little Dodger Joe Mojo. There's Cecil uh Cecil Fielder. Yeah, it's a short print. It's not serial number. Those are those parallel cards are serial numbers, Alan. We're just talking about the 70th anniversary ones, just to make it clear. The ones that have 70 right there. If it didn't have that and it was red, yeah, it'd be out of five. It would, but it would have clearly have a serial number on the back stamp there. And there's a third auto. Ronald Acuna, 202 out of 499. Refractor autograph for the Braves, that'll go to Peter Elias. All right, that was Jumbo Box 1. Jumbo. We did it. We'll slide those there. We'll split these up here. And these will need to be sleeved up eventually too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant the yeah, the reds aren't serial numbered. Yeah, some of some of the seventh anniversary could be serial numbered, right? Well, we were talking about the red versions because because a lot of people confuse it with the um, with the red ones that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We got we had we when we did the first case, I was confused when I was doing this break, but now that we've done a bunch of these, um, yeah. So that's why I tried to make the distinction between the seventieth anniversary red and then just the regular red, because I would blow by like the seventieth anniversary red and goes people would be like, Whoa, 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 that was red, wasn't it? Isn't that out of five? And I was like, No, 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 no. Like this it's that's the seventh anniversary red, which is which is not numbered. But the regular reds are numbered. <laughs> So it got to be kind of confusing, yeah. And they made some of the, the, they made the black one of one. We pulled a black one of one Jake Lamb and we compared it and I completely missed it. Our sorter, you know, Axel discovered it. And um, and, we, and that's why we have a secondary process once this is all done. But we found that and we compared it to a, a just regular base, um, paper base Jake Lamb. Couldn't tell the difference. So they, they, they made it a little a little more challenging this year. All right, here we go. Box two of Jumbo. But yeah, but we'll look at the backs of all of these during the process. Most of the ones I miss are gonna be, you know, the silver paper out of 499. But we'll sleeve those up and we'll send them out to you. Jose Offerman buyback for the Dodgers. He's had a record for most errors in a season for the Dodgers, I think, at shortstop. And Rymel Tapia, rookie auto for the Rockies. We're having a great start to the season. Ashley, there you go. Ash with that one. All 
breeze through these. Paper, 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 paper. And JD Davis, blue, wave, not numbered, but we'll still ship that to King D and the Astros. That was the guy you're looking for, Rex. See that Anderson Espinoza? He came over from the Red Sox, I think with, with Manuel Margot, I think, in some trade. And so his autos are the one you're looking for. I think they sell pretty well on a secondary market. There's purple paper, Bryce Harper. 37 out of 250 for Scott Smith and the Nationals. Oh, and then Rafael Devers out of 499. Uh, this pile right here. Oh, 70th anniversary, Jay Bruce. And the foil stamps will let you know how short printed those cards can be. Have not seen a Mickey Moniac yet. This was our first autograph out of this jumbo. Two more is what we're looking for. So is, is Moncada White Sox, is that why you've been buying them, TJ? I'm assuming that's why you've been buying them. Yohan Moncada's um, White Sox edition in this one, right? Jalen Miller, another Giants autograph for Peter Elias. 14 out of 150 on that blue chrome. Oh, there are two versions? But there is a White Sox edition. Gotcha. Out of 499, 250 out of 499. That's the silver paper. You know, but it doesn't look any different from any of the other cards anyway. We'll try to catch all of those. Chris George for the Royals. Paper piles right here, Joe. Chrome piles right here. All right. Got to stay organized. What's his name? Rookie. Gliber Torres. We haven't seen one of these yet. Nice. Not numbered, but a nice autograph nonetheless for the Bronx Bombers. That'll go to Peter Elias with the Yankees. Nice. Austin Voth, out of 250. Purple paper for the Nationals. That goes to Scott Smith. Always, Kurt. We're always pulling heat here. Left and right. This place is constantly on fire. We have to, we have to turn the fire department away. No, sir, this is a, this is a normal occurrence here. Don't worry, we've got it under control. All right, and that's it for jumbo box number two. Here were your autos. Nice Gliber Torres. There's a couple other nice ones here too. Slide these right here. This is a whole process here to keep myself organized. Makes it easier for the shipping department. Pull two autos from PAX, says Kurt. Good. Oh, from the Prism Racing? 
Oh, nice. Oh, that we were just talking about that earlier today, Kurt. We were we were just like, you know what? There's three hits in in each of those Prism Racing boxes we we open up because we open up sealed box of Prism Racing. So there's three hits in there. Autos or relics, and you know we've run like 12 of those Cowboy Spot randomizers. And so we we're just like, someone must be getting something from those packs, right? But you got a, you got a Mark Martin autograph to 75. In the Viagra car? Nice. Oh, from Wheel Spins? Nice. Good. I always, I always, it's nice when people let us know the prizes that they got out of those, uh, out of those Wheel Spins and whatnot. We have a new rewards program, ladies and gentlemen. So be sure to check that out. Uh, it's Bass Pro Car. Rex saying, hopefully the Cubs don't have to get rid of uh, a hat like they did Torres. I don't think so. I think I feel like the I feel like the the Cubs think they're pretty well constructed. They don't really have to do too much, right? Just ha they just have to figure out how to pay some of the guys. And the Jameson Crowder auto is out of 50, Kurt. It's pretty strong. Not bad for some reward points, right? Okay, here we go. Speaking of the Cubs, there's Jake Arietta, who Rex said had a rough start today. And some chrome. And there's our first autograph. There's Patrick Weigel. Weigel? 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 Braves with that one. Maybe we ran out, <laughs> TJ. I don't know. Talk to Nick. Yell at him. Be like, hey, where's my stuff? It's yours. It's your right. Keep Nick on his toes. All right. We're blowing through this paper. Sorry. I know. You might, we want to admire all the paper. Oh, Mike did? Okay. Uh, we're randomizing those guys. That's chrome. This is paper. Uh, no, you, for the you don't have to actually go claim anything. They'll just be automatically sent to you. Uh, if it's break credit, you'll you'll automatically get that emailed, that break credit emailed to you. And um, if it's if you win a box or packs or whatever, then they'll just uh, and they'll you'll just you'll just get it. You can watch the 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 wheel spin video, and we record it just for I screwed this up just for uh, sorry put stuff in the wrong pile, um, but we keep it up just for just for transparency purposes. You can always email us and, and, and ask to see what you got. 77 out of 250 purple paper for the Brewers. That goes to Mauricio Dubon. Remember Jason Bay? Big contract he got from the Mets. <laughs> that's Pirates Edition. Uh, that's Chrome. We'll put that there. Those World Baseball Classic cards will be randomized to one person. Oh, is this week the same as last week? Nick's been on the DL for a little bit off and on. So I don't think he was really like he he made he made the first week big, and I think wasn't able to do the others. One seventy seven out of two fifty. Purple chrome for the Tigers. That'll go to Aaron Bradford. And there's Jose Tavares. Two twenty two out of four ninety nine. That goes to the Phillies. That'll be for Greg with the Phillies. Eventually, I mean, this is just our, what, third third week of doing the, the points thing. You know, once we get used to the process, we'll find ways to make it more smooth, more efficient. That's just a piece of dust right there, Phillies. There you go. Oh, we'll leave it right here just to keep track of the autos. But over time, we'll be able to do more and more things for points, and there'll be other ways to, to gain points. So we'll be able to gradually... Um, 
kind of expand and evolve the whole thing. Scott Fletcher for the White Sox. As time goes on. Some gold coming up. A gold auto. Nice one for the Braves. Abraham Gutierrez. 7 out of 50. Gold autograph. Catching prospect for the Braves. Peter Elias with that one. Nice one, Pete. That's our third autograph. We should be expecting uh, no more autographs, actually. But there's Yu Chen Chang. One out of 50. A Taiwanese prospect for the Indians. His autos do pretty well. Um, Brett, I'm sure that parallel will do, do all right as well. And the last bit. And Bryce Harper looks like it's numbered. It is 377 out of 499. That's the silver paper. The only reason why I know, I think there's a there's a pattern. There's like, if it's one paper between Chrome cards, then that's usually numbered. I think that's the pattern. Anyway, that'll go to Scott and the Nationals. This is numbered too. 251 out of 499, chrome refractor. There's Joe Creedy for the White Sox. Getting a couple old school guys, TJ. And those buybacks. And there it is. That was the other box. Let me sleeve this one up. And we'll sleeve all the other numbered cards up as well. After the break. Braves, Phillies, Braves. Slide the chrome cards over for the shipping department. Paper gets scooted over too. All right. How am I doing on time? TJ, have you been timing? I know sometimes you do. Um, I should have I should have started a timer. I think I'm doing okay. Oh, we're this is well. Once I open all this, then we're halfway through. But we're just about halfway through. I actually don't know what time I started. Oh, 30 minutes? Hmm. All right. What's that, 10 minutes a box? Eighty minutes, hour 20? Hmm. Gonna go a little bit faster than that. It's gonna get late. <laughs> ah, that doesn't help. It's like a NASCAR pit crew. Like, just a few seconds here, a few seconds there. That could cost you the race. This could cost cost me the race too. I need like a hydration system for breaks like this. Or that 55 box football mixer I did the other night. Should have had a hydration system there.
Oh yeah, that's gold, yeah. Alex Kirlov. Kirlov. Number 98. 36 out of 50. Bowman Scouts 100. Who are those scouts? I don't know. I don't know who they are, but apparently they're the ones ranking these guys. Or do they work with someone to rank these guys? I have no idea who ranks these guys. Because I know Bowman's Best partnered with Baseball America to do stuff, but who's who's scouting these guys? I have no idea. Bowman? That's gold. 17 out of 50. Gold paper for the Nationals. Max Scherzer, Scott Smith, and Armas Garcia. See these blue chrome ones? Don't see a number on them. But we'll still separate them out. David Eckstein. Nice. Angels edition. Giving hope to short ball players everywhere. Colin Young for the Rockies. And David Dahl, nice one for the Rockies. Ashley Nelson, 66 out of 125. There you go, Ash. 10th uh, overall in the 2012 draft. We're starting to see him play a little bit, are we not? I think we are. All right, we're not seeing David Ortiz in baseball. And feel free to use the entire canvas, Adonis Medina, for the Phillies. That goes to Greg. They'll learn. They're just they're just kids. They'll learn. Franklin Barreto, blue paper, out of 150. 50 out of 150, to be precise. Darren and the A's. Nice. Paper, 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 paper. And a couple of these guys. One more auto is what we're looking for in this. These Chrome World Baseball Classics we're randomizing later. Buyback, almost missed that one. Zach Wheeler, Mets. And another Jose Tavares for the Phillies. Phillies, Phillies everywhere, but not Ammoniac. Yeah, I keep doing this. I'm, if I put paper in the wrong pile, that's just going to ruin the whole process. Sorry, folks. All right, David Fletcher, blue, 50 out of 150. Blue chrome for the Angels, Kike Hernandez. All right, there we go. That box is done. Nice David Dahl, auto. Move these chrome over. Move this paper over. And 
and onwards into the next box. Good luck, everybody. I need to look for a big hit out of here in this picker team. Got to look for a big hit to, uh, thanks TJ. <laughs> Got to look for a big hit to wake people up. I want to do a train whistle. I want people falling asleep, like half asleep. Their, their chin on the M key and it's just M, 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 M all the way across. I want them to wake up with a train whistle. All right, I like this timer and these long breaks. TJ likes to do the timer sometimes. I like it because, you know, try to see if you can shave some minutes off of these breaks. Although this is our last jumbo break. So I guess we'll have to do the really time for hobby, those hobby cases. We've got a few of those still left. Those actually take longer. I'm glad we did a jumbo. So many packs in the hobby case. All right. Here we go. Flying through this paper, you can see their faces. And Tom Grazzolani. Got the blue foil stamp on that one. Nice, Kyle Vance has already moved, moved to the bed. Jorge Alfaro, Philly Phillies everywhere. Not a drop of Moniac yet for the Phillies, Greg. But hey, you're getting some autos, that's good. Better than nothing. Yeah, that's a refractor, there we go. 39 out of 4.99. Yu Chen Chang for the Indians. That goes to Brett. It's a World Baseball Classic Chrome. Slide that over. That's you know, always confusing. That's not a gold. Three thirty nine out of four ninety nine. Jake Thompson, I believe that's the silver paper. Colby Allard, those aren't numbered. They'll still go to the Braves. Chuck Knobloch, old Twins is Chuck Knobloch. He had the yips, right? Chuck Knobloch. I think with the, maybe not with the Twin, maybe with the Yankees. Am I thinking of the same person? Steve Sachs had the yips too. Oh, you hit the gold. We haven't hit any. Oh, you guys hitting the Moniacs with the other guys. That's no, all good. I'll just have to hit you. I'll just have to hit you a red one then. <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> Ronald Acuna. What's up, Mr. Diecast? That's an autograph for the... So uh, that Phillies auto to Greg, right? Yes, to Greg. The Braves auto to, to Peter. There you go. Tristan McKenzie for the Indians, 53 out of 250, purple paper. Uh, going to Brett. World Baseball Classic Chrome, slide over there for the randomizer. One more auto to go in this one.
Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. Wait for it. Almost there. Gold? No, not, not a gold autograph. Dylan Bentances, still gold paper. 30 out of 50 for the Yanks. Goes to Peter. That goes there. Kent Maeda finally had a nice start today. Yohan Mankata and Dakota Chalmers. Blue paper. 94 out of 150 for the A's. Darren with that one. Pablo Ortega for the Rays. Buyback. Blake Rutherford, that's a nice one. Nice Blake Rutherford for the Yankees. There you go, Peter. And that's it for that jumbo. Braves. Phillies. And Yankees. Nice autographs. Slide these other cards over here. Move the chrome over here. All right, we're chugging right along. The Big Hit Express moving along. All right. Three boxes to go. This is usually the time we end the broadcast, but can't stop now. We have to finish what we start all the time, folks. That's, that's the kind of people we are. Finish what we start. All right, we got into this. You guys dug deep, filled up the break. I'll dig deep. I'll knock out this break. What's that, six minutes, 58? Okay. So what are you timing to? To the time I slice open the box? To the time I put everything away? Or at the start of every bo box slice? Is that where you start? Just want—I'm just curious. Got to shave, shave down some time here. Six fifty-eight. Where can I shave the time? But not just haphazardly go through this break. I have to think about you guys too. You know, I can't just slice to slice. Gotcha. Okay, slice to slice. All right. So yeah, I can't just power through it. I can't just be like here. <laughs> All right, let's give it a good honest try here. 6.58. TJ timed from slice to slice. 6.58. Let's see what I can do. Purple paper, Trevor Story to 2.50. Uh, that goes to the Rockies. That goes to Ashley. 4.17 out of 4.99. Dylan Cousins, refractor for... Greg and the Phillies. There's Brian Dubois for the Tigers. Paper we're skipping. Chrome we like. Paper, no. Unless it's numbered. Numbered paper, yes. We do like that. Autograph? No. Just hoping. I want to go quickly through that paper, but I kind of want to show you the entire card, too. You know, this is, this is the, the fine line that we have to walk as breakers. Nice Gary Sheffield, Dodgers edition. Everyone tried his bat waggle, right? You know, if you're of a certain generation, the Gary Sheffield generation, I think at every... At every baseball practice or every batting cage incident, you're always be like, okay, Sheffield. <laughs> and you start waggling that bat. Uh, little did you know, there's Justin uh, Macy. No number there, Blue Jays. That goes to Colin Matoy. Little did you know, uh, Gary Sheffield possessed incredible wrist strength and bat speed.
something that I do not possess. Uh, Sam Coonrod, blue chrome, 70th anniversary, so it's not numbered. Oh, you're not timing this one. Okay, so I can, I can rest easy a little bit on this one and then fire it back up for the next box. All right, Christian Arroyo, refractor auto, 44 out of 499. I think he had his first home run off a of Dodger. Peter Elias, if I'm not mistaken. He just got called up recently. Giants struggling too, like my Dodgers. And Dansby Swanson. Nice. Rookie of the Year favorites autograph. 49 out of 150. This might indicate that we get a fourth auto out of here and then two in another box. Because it always seems like there's a different insert type autograph will be like the bonus auto. TJ saying, come on. Why? Well, have we seen any White Sox autographs, TJ? Gosh, I feel like we have not. We did a hobby case, too. I don't think I saw a White Sox autograph either in that random break. AndreAspiesHobbyland.com. I don't think we've seen it. Hmm. Dear Bowman. <laughs> There's the Bo Burrows red paper. Those aren't numbered, but we still ship it. Howard Johnson. Nice. Classic Met right there. Oh, no bonus auto in this one. Oh, there was a Fulmer. Yeah, it was Carson Fulmer in the first one we ever did. But, but since then, since then, not even, not even like some random, not even some random White Sox. You know what I mean? Yeah. You like that, Hojo? There's Dansby. For the Braves, Peter Elias having a nice break. Giants, it's another one for Peter. And Blue Jays for Colin. Okay. Oh, we've got to move this chrome out of the way. All right. Look at this. Slice. The list. That's gonna. That's precious seconds. Oh, here we go. We like to have fun here, folks. We like to have fun here. TJ starting the timer. There's a little bit of a lag, but as long as TJ kind of marks at the right time, then we should be in good shape to get the timing results. Actually, TJ is not lagging too far behind. He's doing just perfectly for the YouTube stream. Always make sure you're live, folks. Always stream at the highest quality possible when you're watching. That will prevent any kind of lag or responding to big hits like two minutes later. Don't want to do that. That's embarrassing. All right, here we go. Stephen Piscotti leads us off with the paper. Get out of here, paper. We don't need you. Unless you're numbered. Unless you're a one of one. Chrome, we like you. All right, paper. Rookie Davis. Uh, buyback, Jerry Brown. No, not the California governor, the uh, the baseball player for the Indians. Uh, Wilmer Bucera. 
63 out of 150 for the Mets. Blue Chrome. I don't think we've seen his name as of yet. Metropolitans. Kyle Vance with that one. There you go, Kyle. Hopefully you're still awake to see that. So you don't have to watch the entire video. And Hunter Renfro. Nice. Refractor auto for Hunter Renfro. 413 out of 499. Great outfielder for the Padres. That goes to Rex. There you go, Rex. I don't know if Rex is still awake. But there you go, man. Renfro is pretty solid. Padres are actually quietly building a decent team out there. Manuel Margot, Hunter Renfro, and Gabriel Solarte. They're already playing. Alex Spies, 17 out of 250. Purple paper. And, um, you know, Will Myers has found new life in San Diego after toiling with Tampa Bay for a while. But he's finally becoming the player that people thought he could be. And so they're quietly constructing, you know, a pretty good team. A young team, but so far so good. You would TJ wants that, Rex. That Hunter Renfro, TJ? Might have a buyer already, Rex. There we go. Rex is still up. Finally something, he says. Chris Young for the Padres. There's another thing. Buyback. World Baseball Classic Chrome. Paper. PC Hunter Renfro? What's the connection? There's Loris Guriel Jr. TJ let me know the other night that this is... Ulysses, brother. Uh, Blue Jays, call him a toy. Ulysses Guriel, of course, the highly touted Cuban prospect. Prospect, in quotes, air quotes. He's 30-something. Um, but he's a rookie for us. So he's playing with the Astros. That's a refractor. Paul DeYoung out of 499 for the Cardinals. Redbirds refractor for Kyle Vance. Can you can you imagine what you should we should all look at the at some sometime in the future Alex Bregman purple paper 228 out of 250 for King D and the Astros Franklin Colomb 17th anniversary Ricky Henderson nice what year is this this is a uh, 1991 silver foil buyback TJ I was gonna say we should look up all the players that the Padres used to have like prospect wise. And this is from like the 80s too, you know? Um, but we should see all the, if, if, like, if the Padres were able to keep all those players, like what kind of players they would have. I mean, they had Dave Winfield in the 80s. They had Ozzy Smith, you know, <laughs> like, you know, they had prospects like Trey Turner, you know, they, they moved a lot of guys around. It feels, it feels like every year, or every other year, they they would have some some hot prospect that they would trade away for something that would never really work out. That's it for that box. Just crazy. Blue Jays with an auto, Mets with an auto, and the nice Hunter Renfro, which oh played in San Antonio, got a bat. Oh nice. So there you go, Rex. TJ might want that, or he does want that. Work out something out. All right. Oh, let me move these over. That's part of the process. And the last box, believe it or not, folks, we are here at the last box and slice. This actually went a lot faster than I thought it would. Oh, Renfro signed like 20 cards for you? Seems like a good guy. Seems to be hidden pretty well, too, as of late. They just need starting pitching. Nice. Six minutes, 40 seconds. I almost shaved a minute off that. Was that too fast? Did, did, it, did it seem like I was rushing, though? Because I also... I it, The customer experience is also important, too. Did it seem like I was rushing through it? I think I gave... All the more important cards requisite time. A 
So we sacrifice with speed sometimes, folks. You know, sure. You can be like Michael Kopech, you know, and throw 105 miles per hour, right? But can you control it? You can be like Nuke Lelouch, throw as hard as you can. But as all the old guys say in baseball, there is a difference between a thrower, difference between a thrower and a pitcher. <laughs> Enough baseball philosophy, philosophy to move on. Uh, hold on. That's paper right there. That should be numbered. There we go. Longo, 352 out of 499. Silver paper. Eric Jenkins, purple chrome out of 250. For the Rangers, Rays, that would be Big Boys 007. Rangers, that would be Aaron. And nice Adrian Beltre from the Seattle days. Buyback. All right, yeah, now we need to find TJ a White Sox autograph. <laughs> Can't believe we haven't seen one since, uh, right, since the first case we did. You didn't have the White Sox then, did you? Actually, I don't think I, I don't remember saying your name for that one. Zach Wheeler buyback for the Mets. Okay, it wasn't TJ. Well, we have three chances, TJ. Three autographs left in this box, ladies and gentlemen. And well, the first one's a Met. Luis Carpio. I thought we haven't we seen this guy already? Luis Carpio for the Mets, Kyle Vance. No, maybe it was a different Maybe that was another case. All the cases are blurring in together now. <laughs> Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. 72 out of 150. Blue chrome for Greg. Uh, there's Trout. These are not numbered, but I like the old style. And still no Moniac, but there's Adon uh, Adonis Medina. 67 out of 250. Greg, I guess you're starting your Adonis Medina PC. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> All right, one autograph to go. Will TJ get his White Sox? Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Have they called the Boston Meadows yet? I don't think so, right? That's for the randomizer. Goldschmidt. Jarrell Cotton. Grant Holmes. That's numbered, right? Yeah, 371 out of 499. Former Dodgers prospect right here. Uh, Oakland A's. That'll go to Darren. Edgar Renteria. Silver foil stamp on that one. One auto to go. Yeah, let's see five autos in this case, says TJ. Nick Senzel. Sorry, TJ. But this is a very nice one for the Reds. The second overall pick, 433 out of 49. Could still be an extra auto in this. Refractor auto for the Reds. David Alford with that one. Nice one, Dave. Congrats. Second overall for the Reds. Yeah, who needs... Second baseman, I think, right? Is he a second baseman? Third baseman. Yeah. Todd Frazier who? Red paper. That's the seventh anniversary one. Those aren't numbered. Bonus auto? Could be. A lot of cards left. Oh, that's it, guys. All right.
guys and girls. That is it. But thank you very much, folks, to those who to those who bought in and to those who hit, and especially to those who stayed up this late with me to break this long case. You guys definitely made uh, made it a lot easier, and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Nice last hit right there. That Nick Senzel is strong. All right, let's slide these over. Let's keep the video running. We're going to see if there's any numbered cards back here. No, there wasn't. Yeah, I didn't even see any color, TJ. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. What a... We'll yell at Bowman about this. Um, okay. Let me open up. Well, good news, TJ. We don't have any more jumbos to tempt you. <laughs> But thanks for getting in, man. All right. Maybe consolation prize? We'll copy the names all all right here. Let's. This is just for the lot of those uh, WBC Chrome cards. Uh, six and a two, eight times. I don't think I have anything else to randomize, right? No, I don't think so. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. On top, Eddie McKee. So there you go, Eddie. I don't, I don't think I called your number today either. I'm sorry. But here's a consolation prize of these uh, of these fantastic Japanese and Cor one Korean, two Korean pitchers. Same guy. So, hey, you never know. What if one of these guys makes it to the major leagues? All right. So there you go, folks. Thank you very much. That was uh, Pick Your Team number four, jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was an eight-box jumbo here on a fr still Friday for us on the 28th. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you next time. This is Joe. I'm out jazbeeshobbyland.com.